This has to be one of the most spectacular dishes I've ever cooked. It's also one of the most delicious. It's tender, aromatic, strangely smoky, but you won't really know until you've made it for yourself just how good it is. For the salt crust, a 50-50 mixture of coarse sea salt and fine cooking salt works best. A little water dampens the salt and makes it easier to work. First, lay out a salty base for the fish on a baking tray. On goes a sprinkling of chopped garlic, a handful of bay leaves and some black pepper. A couple more bay leaves are tucked in the cavity and giving them a little twist just helps to release the aroma. Next, a close-fitting jacket of salt is packed up and around the whole fish. So I'm just going to tuck this up. It's quite important to avoid too much salt going inside the cavity of the fish because that really does actually start to make the flesh taste salty, which isn't the idea. Everything but the head and tail are totally encased in the salt. And this is where the dampness of the salt comes into its own because it's possible to just pat and mould the salt all around the fish. And then it goes into a hot oven for about 40 minutes. When you're cooking for a crowd, this extravagant dish becomes a real spectacle. The fishy equivalent of a whole spit-roast sucking pig. <laughs> and it's always a showstopper on our catch-and-cook days. Everyone mucks in to remove the salt crust, and when you peel back that leathery skin, the secret of the tender flesh beneath is revealed in all its glory. And that is what it's all about. It's just an amazing texture and sweetness. Very, very good, isn't it? And whatever else is on the menu, the salt-crusted bass always steals the show.